Nothing much has changed. <clears throat> yeah, don't don't put it too close. <clears throat> as long as they can hear me in the back. So can you hear me in the back? If not, raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Phone. Out. Huh? A airplane mode, huh? huh? We need to develop an app. It's called Puto, 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 Puto. Huh? huh? Yeah. Huh. Ah, people are getting crazy. Yeah. Without your phone, you can't live anymore, huh? <clears throat> and wh wh why do you put on masks, huh? Are you afraid to die? You will die anyway, huh? <laughs> I will leave it, huh? <clears throat> Do you think these masks actually protect you? Huh? <laughs> Do you know what these masks are? Clinical masks, they protect you from spittle, from other things, yeah? and from blood, you know, they come from operations. Yeah? That's what they protect you. Huh? For virus, they are... Yeah? Virus, you know, I mean, sees his mass and, you know, enters the by the by, yeah, happily, yeah? <laughs> huh? Why don't you look it up, huh? huh? I can't believe it, I, I really... Yeah. <clears throat> I was surprised, actually, you know, because in Thailand they all, they still wear t much more masks than you, yeah? But, I mean, here in the meditation hall, <clears throat> I mean, are you afraid of death? Huh? Hmm? If you're afraid of death, if you're afraid of dying, huh? you shouldn't have been born. Huh? You understand that? Every person who is born will die. Yeah? And we don't die because of COVID. The Lord Buddha never talks about, huh? we die of COVID. Huh? He doesn't talk about we die of cancer. Or heart attack, huh? Huh? I mean, never heard. I mean, if you read the suttas, huh? what, what, what is the reason we are born? Because we have karma. What is the reason why we die? Because we have karma. That's the only reason. The moment we are born, you know, this body has a lifetime of uh, maybe 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 years. Huh? And there's nothing that you can do except jump and make suicide. Huh? You will live this long or you will live this short, no matter what you do. Huh? If you wear a mask, you know, why don't you wear three masks or four masks? You know, they may be protecting you better. Huh? <clears throat> and do you know when you wear a mask? Yeah? <clears throat> I mean, when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen. Yeah? When you breathe out, you breathe out what? Carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide is kept in the mask. So when you breathe in, yeah, and carbon dioxide is a very good poison for us, huh? No? Ever heard of that? If not, you know, I mean, Google it. <laughs> huh? So you breathe in carbon dioxide because it's good for you, or it's poison. Huh? <clears throat> I can't believe it. <sighs> Three years I talked about. It. Three years. Huh? At least the people who come to the monastery know that they have to take off the mask, otherwise I don't give even a talk, yeah? And I said, you know, I mean, you're not even ready to listen to the Dhamma. I mean, if, you, if you're afraid of this like this. Yeah? <clears throat> But people are so horrified, yeah? 
Yeah, I mean, I do understand it. You know, you read it, you read it, and you read it. You know, and all this, all this news that yeah, all this fake news. You know that you know that the government gives us yeah, propaganda. It's called propaganda. Yeah, <clears throat> people in Russia understand what propaganda is. Yeah, they don't listen to the government. Yeah, they know it is. Huh? But we from the West think whatever is you know written in the news is yeah, huh? It's the truth. Yeah. That's what they want to make us uh, believe. Yeah? That's why we are the most propagandized people, you know, in the whole world. Yeah, everybody else uses this common sense. It's called. Yeah, you think about it. Yeah, <clears throat> but I mean, where's common sense now? I mean, you have all your smartphones. Yeah, uh, the smartphone is smarter than you. Now you don't even need common sense anymore. Huh? I mean, you're just robots, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing more, yeah. I mean, the more you use the smartphones, the stupider you get, huh? the more stupid you become, huh? I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, Siri, Siri, what is this, huh? Oh, Google, Google, what is this, yeah? We want to know, yeah. Huh? So we ask, yeah. I mean, how, how do, did the people, yeah, actually 30 years ago, yeah, come about to know something, yeah? I mean, they went to the library reading old books, you know, yeah, thinking, you know, looking it up, yeah. <clears throat> or they had a dictionary, you know, 20, 20 volumes of dictionary where they can look up if they wanted to know something, yeah. Huh? Or went in the university when I was studying, you know, I still had to go through this catalogs, yeah, looking for, for the books, you know, and ah, okay, you know, and then going to the book, you know, going to the pages, you know, and looking it up, yeah, huh? and then going to this book and to that book, yeah, huh? not just Google one answer, you know, that's it, huh? huh? Everybody who studied, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, you know, just like me, you knows it how it works, yeah. Yeah? That develops intelligence, yeah? Because we see this is one thing, and this is one thing, this person says this, this person says that, yeah? So, we, we judge it, you know, what kind of value does this person have, or we look up a third person, yeah? And then see, you know, who is right, who is wrong, yeah? But now, yeah, in our times, there's only one science, Google or Siri, huh? One science, yeah? If you debate the science, you're cancelled. <coughs> huh? You're thrown out of university because you have a different opinion than, yeah? I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, what, what has this world become to, yeah? <coughs> but the older people, you know, maybe the older people still do understand it. <laughs> Man, what is the Buddha's teaching? What does it teach us? Yeah, huh? he teaches the first noble truth. Yeah, what is the first noble truth? Dukkha. Yeah, you don't have dukkha. Yeah, I mean, I look at your faces. You know, oh, yeah. <clears throat> dukkha, dissatisfaction, discomfort, this is huh? boredom, restlessness, whatever you call it. Yeah, all. Yeah. All sorts of things, you know, that make us feel not at ease. That's Dukkha. You have Dukkha. Yeah? yeah? So that's the first noble truth. Yeah? What's the second noble truth? Hmm? <clears throat> what is the cause of Dukkha? Huh? Our desire. Yeah? Tanha. Huh? Desire. We want this or we don't want this. Yeah? And we constantly want. Yeah? I mean, we have a little, little voice in our ear that constantly tells us what to do, yeah? And if you don't know what to do, and you know, we, now we take out our smartphones, yeah? And it tells us what to do. Huh? 
I mean, I just, got, I just uh, became the information. What, what is it? Uh, uh, Sani, Sani gave me the information. How, how, how much do you use your smartphone? Have you ever looked at it? Huh? How many hours do you use your smartphone? Huh? Huh? What are you using most? Huh? I mean, what is it called? Well-being, you know? I mean, in, in, it's an app, you know? It's called well-being, yeah? Huh? Huh? How often do you use it? How many hours do you use it, yeah? There is something yeah, that is called reality. Yeah? I mean, we are born in this world, you know, and that's what we call reality. The Lord Buddha called it delusion. Yeah? Yeah? Now, within this reality, we use virtual reality. That means our smartphone. Yeah? So we are already in the second, second layer of delusion. However, do you get out of this? Huh? I mean, wherever you go, you see these people, you know, I mean, smartphone, smartphone, yeah, playing games, you know, you see three-year-olds, yeah? Mother gives you, you know, three-year-old smartphone, you know? I mean, playing, playing, what, hmm? what can they learn? What do they know about this world? And this world is already hard enough to take, yeah? Not only young people, yeah. Now I see even old people, you know, using smartphones, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're retired, you know, I understand it, you know, if, if, if your boss, you know, requires you, and now, I mean, can you imagine, you know, I mean, older people who worked, you know, for 30, 40 years, you know, I mean, when, when there was no smartphone, the boss, you know, I mean, he couldn't do anything. Now he call, can, can contact you 24 hours a day. Huh? What is this? Huh? Slaves. Huh? But you accept it. You have a choice. Huh? Every one of us have a choice. Yeah? We don't have to accept this. Yeah? <clears throat> we can find something else. We can find other, we can find other work. Yeah? Huh? No. I mean, it, it amazes me. So I'm, most of the time I'm just in my monastery, you know, I'm in my forest, you know, and then yeah, don't, don't even know what is going on. But coming to Singapore, ah, I mean, you, ah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah? <clears throat> you're looking, you're looking from, from, you know, from above, you know, I mean, it, it's just like a big ant nest, yeah? yeah? Running, 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 you know, going from A to B, going back from to A, you know, sometimes going to C, calling it a restaurant or whatever, you know, or a you know, fun park or whatever, and then running back to A, and then running back to B, yeah? And do this all our life, yeah? Huh? And then we die, and then the next life we run again. Huh? Is it so much fun, you know? Think about it, you know? Think about a human birth, yeah? How long, how long did it take you to educate this body? How, how long did you take, you know, did it take you, you know, to train this body? You remember, huh? <clears throat> if you're a mother or father, you remember how, how long it took, you know, for your child to develop, yeah? I mean, it had to learn to walk, huh? No? It had to learn to talk. Then it had to learn to read. Write, yeah, and think, yeah, 18 years before you can even use this body, yeah, huh? and how long, yeah, ask, ask the older ones, yeah, <clears throat> how long can you use this body with its energy, huh, comfortably, 30 years, yeah, huh? until around 45 or 50, and then you start, it's cracking down already, yeah. This doesn't work, that doesn't work, this aches, that aches, you know. Huh? Your leg is not going anymore, yeah. Huh? <clears throat> your knee is failing and whatever, yeah. Or your brain or your heart or whatever, or your liver or your uh, intestines, yeah. Huh? So you wait, you know, another 40 years until you're dead, yeah. Think about it, this is the human life. Huh? Training it for 18 years, yeah. Huh? Using it for 30 or 35 years, yeah and then waiting for death to come 
slowly decaying, 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 yeah, for 40 years or 30 years. Huh? That's a lot of fun, yeah? That's why we take on the ne next life as well, huh? That's why we want to go in the next life. Oh, yes, one more, one more. I mean, we have... How many, how many lives have you lived, huh? Hmm? I, even as a human. I mean, millions, huh? Maybe even billions of lives. And you want to go on, huh? Is that what you want, yeah? Another life, yeah? Maybe next life, you know, I become the governor or the president of this company or the president of that company. Or maybe I'll be rich or maybe I, yeah? But maybe you're a slave, yeah? <laughs> maybe in the next, yeah? <clears throat> After next world war, you know, I mean, that, you know, it, it, it goes back to kingdoms, you know, where they are slaves, yeah? Maybe you're born as a slave, yeah? <clears throat> you're already a slave now. <laughs> With your smart, you're a slave to your smartphones already. So I mean, you know, I prepare yourself for the next life, yeah. Becoming a slave, yeah, in the real sense, yeah. Is that what you want, yeah? Huh? You have the, you know, you have the opportunity now that there's a Buddha's teaching. Now that there's there's a real teaching around, yeah. Maybe not in Singapore. <laughs> you don't hear that too too often, yeah. <clears throat> But at least in Thailand, yeah? Thailand is one of the, it, it is one of the, the only countries, you know, who has a living Buddhism, who has a living Buddhist teaching. Hmm? There's no other country that had more than, yeah, that has more Arahants than Thailand, yeah? Thailand had, since Lumpu Man, Lumpu Sao, huh? he had, I mean, over 100 Arahants. What other country does have it? No. Huh? <clears throat> even Sri Lanka, huh? even Sri Lanka or, or Myanmar or, or, or Kamputea you know, or Laos, you know, I mean, yeah, they might have one or two, you know, but not as many. Yeah? So there's a tradition, you know, that teaches us the way out. Ah, why do I get so angry? Huh? <laughs> huh? Don't you know? Don't you see what you're doing? Yeah? I wanted to ask, you know, today they, they dragged me to Singapore. <laughs> Going around and seeing all these people. Huh? I just wanted to ask these people, do you know what you're doing? Do you know why you're here? Do you know what is the meaning of your life? Huh? Because uh, they're just like robots walking there. Yeah? 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 Running, you know, I mean, uh, uh, doing yoga or doing whatever. Yeah? Huh? Keeping the body healthy, yeah? Instead of keeping the one that, you know, occupies this body. Huh? It's a chitta. Yeah? This you should keep healthy, but nobody is interested in the chitta. Yeah? The chitta is the one, you know, who? who? Huh? It's a driver of the body. Huh? You have a car, you know? The car doesn't drive without the driver. Huh? No? Yeah? So, the body doesn't drive without the chitta. Yeah? But nobody looks after the chitta. Huh? What do you think what happens, you know, if nobody looks after the driver? If you're not educated how to drive properly, huh? you will just crash land. Huh? Every time, every time you're born, you crash land. Yeah? Huh? <clears throat> until, until you learn how to educate the chitta, the driver of the body. Huh? That what brings, you know, that what moves the body. Every movement you do, yeah, it's a chitta who does the movement. Every thought that you think, it's a chitta who does it, yeah, who gives the intention to the brain, and the brain is nothing else than the computer, you know, that controls the body, but the chitta is the one who sends the control, yeah, the information, yeah? go up, okay, yeah? processed in the brain, and then the brain, you know, then, then the body moves up, yeah? <clears throat> yeah? No, don't understand. You, you think you know that it, everything is in the brain, yeah? Huh? So when, when the body dies, the brain dies, huh? huh? There's nothing left, huh? The chitta, huh? It's a chitta, you know, that moves this body. And nobody educates the chitta, huh? Nobody and teaches the chitta what is good and what is bad, yeah? We only, you know, <coughs> what, what is it? I just know. Uh, we exercise the body, exercise the body, you know, running, running, you know, doing, you know, sports or doing to the, going to the gym, you know, yeah? 
And, but in the end, you know, this body dies, no matter what we do, huh? no matter how healthy we are, huh? it dies, yeah? Huh? And somebody who eats very healthy food, you know, he dies maybe at 40, you know, another who doesn't care about eating food, you know, he, he just eats whatever he gets, yeah? huh? he, he lives up to 100. Huh? Strange, isn't it? Huh? Because what I said in the beginning is the important thing, yeah? We are born because of our karma, we die of our karma, yeah? And whatever happens to us every moment of this life is because of our karma that we have done in the previous lives. If we are rich, if we are poor, you know, if, if we get a good job or a bad job, if we have a good husband or a uh, bad husband or a good wife or bad wife, yeah? I mean, it all depends on our karma. <coughs> If our husband leaves us or if our wife leaves us, you know, it depends on our karma, yeah? If we get children, it depends on our karma. If we don't get children, it depends on our karma, huh? No. When are you going to grasp this, huh? When is, is it going to sink in, huh? No matter what you do in this life, you cannot protect this life. It's already written, yeah? No matter how many injections you get. <laughs> huh? It doesn't protect you from COVID. Yeah? People with four injections get COVID. Yeah? <laughs> and they have worse COVID than people with no injections. Yeah? <laughs> huh? Some people get the first injection and they die. Other people get the third injection and then they die. Yeah? <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Yeah? No matter what you do, you cannot protect yourself from the karma that you have done. And the karma that you are doing right now yeah, is the karma that you will receive in your next lives. Yeah? I mean, let it sink in. Hmm? It is up to you, you know. It is up to you how to live your life. Yeah? It is up to you know, how your next life will be. Yeah? That is completely up to you. There's nobody, yeah? there's nobody responsible yeah? for what is happening to you. It's not your husband. Yeah? It is not your wife. Yeah? It's you who receive the karma of what you have done. I know it is difficult to take. Yeah? Hmm? The person who is mugged, the person who is robbed, yeah? the person who is beaten up, it is because of his karma. Don't believe it? I mean, if you don't believe it, you're not a Buddhist, yeah? <laughs> I mean, it, it is a teaching of the Lord Buddha. It's actually, you know, I mean, it's actually written in the middle, in the uh, middle length sayings, yeah? I mean, he talks about karma, yeah? He says, you know, who is a very generous person, you know, he will be rich in his next life, not in this life. Huh? Yeah? So, People, you know, and probably the Singaporeans, uh, the Chinese is the same as, as, as the Thais, you know. The Thais come to the temple, you know, I mean, offer a lot of good things, you know, and then when they run out of the temple, they buy lottery tickets. Yeah? And, the, and I'm, I'm supposed, you know, I'm, I'm sure that most of the Chinese here do the same thing, yeah? Huh? They do some good, you know, and then they run out, you know, and, and, and buy a lottery ticket or do what, whatever I know, yeah? <coughs> Or go in the casino and play. <laughs> no. Whatever you do right now, yeah? I mean, every farmer knows, you know? I mean, he puts in the seeds, you know, and he has to wait for, yeah? If it, the more valuable it is, the longer he has to wait, yeah? If it is a fruit tray, he has to wait for seven years, you know, to bear fruit, yeah? If it is rice, he has to wait for six months, you know, before, it, you know, before he can eat it, yeah? But we believe, you know, karma comes instantly, huh? There's instant karma, huh? Yes? So why is the bad things that you're doing not instantly coming back, huh? huh? Why do you only want the good things to come back, huh? <laughs> you're not much different from the Christians, yeah? <laughs> they blame everything on God, you know? I mean, when something bad happens to you, they run to the church, you know? Oh, God, take this away from me, yeah? Hmm? It is, you know, you can do that. You can take it away from me. But when they win in the lottery, nobody runs in the church. Please, God, take this lottery win away from me. Huh? 
Only bad things happen to us, you know. I mean, this, this is not our, yeah? Whatever happens good to us, you know, it is become, because of us, isn't it? Yeah? Whatever happens bad to us, you know, it's because of somebody else, yeah? 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 Because of our boss, because of the government, because of this or that, you know? Yeah? Yeah? We blame every time, every, blame, every time we blame other people, you know, for, for our misfortune, yeah? But we always take the responsibility for our good fortune, yeah? Yes, because I worked very hard, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Because you work very hard, this misfortune happens to you. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean understand it, you know, understand the Buddha's teaching, you know, I mean it is very straight, you know, it's very direct, you know, it tells us everything, yeah. Especially about karma. And it has to sink in, you know. <clears throat> Whatever comes to you, you know, is because of your own doing. It is not because somebody else does something. To you, yeah? So you have to welcome it, yeah? Sometimes you bite your teeth, you know, and say, but accept it, yeah? Accept it, you know, whatever comes to you. Accept it, you know, so that it doesn't come back again, yeah? Because with the way, you know, reject it, yeah? I mean, with this force you reject it, you know, with this force and its own force it comes back to you, you know, and sooner or later you will have to go to hell and to receive it, yeah? Well, who wants to go to hell anyway, yeah? <clears throat> but who is going to hell? Lots of people, yeah? <laughs> huh? Have you ever heard, you know, I mean, huh? Venerable Ananda asked the Lord Buddha how many people are going to hell? Do you, have you heard the story? Huh? Huh? Yes? But it's not you, isn't it? <laughs> You're not going to hell. <laughs> huh? Huh? He said, do you see the bull over there? How many horns does he have? These are the people who go to Nibbana or, or to the heaven, yeah? And how many uh, hairs does he have on his fur? You know, these are the millions. These are going to hell. But at least, you know, you can be happy, you know. Lots of friends are going with you. <laughs> yeah, please take it... Uh, Please take it serious, you know, I mean, come on, you know, whatever we do, every moment, yeah, every kind of intention is come up, yeah, be it in thought, yeah, the thought come up comes to us directly, you know, be it, be it in words, you know, it also comes back to us, and be it in deeds, it comes back to us, yeah, and it doesn't only come back one time, the pity is it just doesn't come back one time, yeah, it comes back multiple times, yeah, well, if I, sometimes I don't remember correctly, but I thought, you know, for an animal, if you do something bad to an animal, it comes back 100 times, yeah? If you do something bad, you know, to, to a human being, I, it is a thousand times that it comes back, yeah? Just one deed comes back a thousand times. But if you do good, yeah, one deed comes back a thousand times as well, yeah? And if you do it to the Lord Buddha or to an Arahant, it comes back infin infinitesima. Yeah? So, <clears throat> so you be, be, better be careful around Arahants. Yeah? <laughs> Don't do something bad. <clears throat> this, is, this is the power of Kama. And the Kama is that what rules the world. Yeah? It is not, yeah, it is not our soul yeah, that goes from one life to the next. It is karma that goes to the next life, yeah? Let's well, think about it, you know, I try to, I try to, to find similes, you know. You go on a trip, you know, yeah, you, you pack your bags when you go on a trip, yeah? You put the things in that you want to have on your trip, yeah? Hmm? Think about it, this life as a human being, you pack your bags, you know, yeah? put this kind of karma in, put that kind of karma in, and then you arrive as a human being and that's what you live off, yeah? And when you come back, you know, and, uh, and during your trip, I mean, you gather a lot of things, yeah? Don't you? Yeah, or you buy this, you buy that, you know, I mean, you, you have this experience or that experience, and this you bring back, you know, to your house, you know, and then you un unload all your things and you pack, Pack your bags again, yeah? And then you go into the next life, yeah? <clears throat> but the next life is not normally not a human being, yeah? Huh? I mean, there are 31 realms of existence, yeah? Hmm? And most of us, you know, I mean, when we are good, you know, I mean, we come back as a human being. But most of us don't come back as a human being. Huh? <clears throat> if you're lucky, you're, you're born as a ghost, yeah? Huh? 
If you're not so lucky, you know, you, you go to hell, yeah? <coughs> hmm? it, it all depends on your karma, yeah? Huh? <coughs> so be careful, you know, of what you do, what you think, you know, and what your intentions are. Because this, this is important for your life, you know, it's for your own sake, yeah? I'm not, I'm not talking to, to myself, I believe, you know, karma 100%. I've seen it, you know, arising and ceasing, yeah? I've seen things from the past life coming back, good things and bad things, yeah? <clears throat> so I had to struggle with this, yeah? But it, it is much easier if you understand that it is, it, it is not the fault of other people or the government or whatever you want to call it or what, whatever you want to blame it, that it is your own doing, yeah? And then you find it within your own heart, yeah? That kind of karma or that kind of intention that leads to this kind of karma, and then you uproot it and then it is over, yeah? And that is, that is the base of meditation, that is the basis of practice, yeah? Uh, practice is not only to set our mind, you know, to calm, yeah, to make it calm, but practice, yeah, the important part of practice is investigation, yeah. <clears throat> it's the investigation of, yeah, of the five khandas or the five groups, of, of the body, yeah. Uh, and that is our biggest problem, the body, 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 yeah. When you sit in meditation and you only think about the body, that hurts, that hurts, you know, I mean, this is, uh, uh, Body. That's the first kanda. Yeah? Then feeling. Yeah? Bodily feeling and mental feeling. Yeah? Then, then memory and uh, association. And then thoughts. Yeah? And uh, consciousness. Yeah? Huh? I mean, we are, ta- we are attracted to this body. Yeah? That's, why we, yeah? That's why I call it a car. Yeah? I mean, when your car dies, you know, when you cannot repair it, you buy a new one. Yeah? If you can afford it. If you can't afford it, you go to, to, the, uh, to the walking hell. Yeah? Until you can afford it, yeah, again, yeah. <clears throat> That's, yeah. We want the body, yeah. Each time we want the body, yeah. No matter, you know, what kind of body it is, yeah. I mean, yes, it is nice to go up to heaven, yeah. <clears throat> if, it, if it did a lot of good karma, you know, I mean, we might go up to heaven, yeah. Huh? And then, when the time is over, when holiday is over, where do you go back? Working here. <laughs> I mean, that's reality, please, yeah? Huh? You all know that, you know, you all go on holidays, you know, sometimes, you know, you spend your money, hard work money, hard earned money, yeah? And then when, when the hard earned money is gone, you know, and then you go back to working hell, yeah? <laughs> to earn some more money to go next time to, to, to go again, you know, on holiday. Huh? That, that, don't you do that all the time, yeah? And why, why should it be different? Yeah? Hmm? I mean, if we keep the five precepts, yeah? Hmm? I will talk about it later. If we keep the five precepts, yeah? If you are very generous, yeah? And if you have a lot of respect, yeah? And if you, uh, if, if you have gratitude, then we can go up to heaven, yeah? But when heaven is over, then you go down to hell, yeah? Because we are not only doing good things, yeah? We are doing bad things, yeah? So we go down to hell. When we when we come out from hell, huh, then we then we come back as a as a ghost or a hungry ghost. Yeah, it depends on yeah. Huh? <clears throat> and then we might go up to heaven again, you know, or we might come become a human being. Yeah. And then the whole thing starts again. Not bored yet? Huh? You want more? You don't have to do anything to get more. You have to do something to get out of this huh, cycle of birth and death. Huh? And this is not easy. It's a tough work. Huh? <clears throat> hmm? Most people, you know, just want, you know, want, want a happy pill, you know. Okay, okay, you know, I have to come, yeah. Okay, happy pill, you know. Uh, and now I'm fine, yeah. Uh, until, you know, the happy pill, you know, loses its efficiency, you know, and then you take a next happy pill, yeah. That's why people go to meditation courses, yeah? Uh, okay, okay, happy, 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 yeah? Then they go back, you know, oh, unhappy, happy. I need another meditation course. Happy, 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 you know? And, huh? That's what most of people do, yeah? It doesn't solve the problem, yeah? It doesn't solve the problem why we become unhappy, yeah? 
Hmm? It is because of our desire, yeah? the second noble truth, the desire we constantly want something. Yeah? <clears throat> we have this little voice in our ear that constantly tells us what to do, you know, what to want and what not to want. Yeah? Oh, I want this, you know. In five years I get retired and then I do this, yeah. And then five years come by and your thoughts have changed, yeah. You want something else. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> now I can't do it anymore, yeah. Or my body, body broke down, you know, or this happened or that happened, yeah. I mean, all our dreams, whenever do, do, did they fulfill, yeah. Huh? Ah, next year I do this, yeah. Huh? What happened to that dream? Vanished. Huh? Gone. Gone up in smoke. Yeah? <clears throat> because our thinking changes. Yeah? Our character changes. Yeah? Our desire changes constantly. Yeah? We see something, ah, we want it. Yeah? If we don't see it, we don't want it. Huh? Yeah? So you look at your smartphone, all the ads that pop up, you, know, you, you, know, you want a lot of things. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, I need this, yeah. Oh, you see your friend coming by, you know, with a Gucci, Gucci bag, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you need it, yeah. Or, or shoes, you know, or, or this cloth, you know, or this, this cloth, yeah. How many, how many, huh? how many dresses do you have in your wardrobe, huh? How many, huh? <laughs> how many shoes, yeah. How many shirts, you know? How many socks, yeah? How, how many do you need, yeah? Can you wear them all at the same time? <laughs> What's the purpose, yeah? Huh? I want to look different. So it is body again, yeah? I, I, you know, I go to the hairdresser to look different, yeah? For what? Does it change your inner side? Does it change you innerly, yeah? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> Does it change your character when, when you have a different hairstyle or when you differ, have a different shirt, yeah? Or, oh, you know, for the men, if they drive a different, different car, maybe a Mercedes or BMW, yeah? Or Bentley, you know, whatever, yeah? Does it change you? Yeah? Yes, it changes you, it makes you more greedy. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> you want more, yeah? Because there's no end to wanting, yeah? yeah? You have this, you want more, yeah? You can never be satisfied. Yeah? That is one of the rules, you know, you can never be satisfied. The more you give in the desires, the more you have the desires. Yeah? Be it the positive desires, be it the negative desires. Yeah? The more you start to dislike persons, you know, the more, yeah, it, the more you, you will hate them, you know, and in, in the end you can't see them. Yeah? <clears throat> Or you even want to get rid of them. Desire, following one's desire is not the right way, yeah? <clears throat> Stopping one's desire, you know, is the right way, yeah? Because this, this leads to dissatisfaction. The less desire we have, yeah, the more happiness we have actually in our life, yeah? We don't have to look what other people have. It's their business. What other people are doing, it's their business, yeah? What we have is our business. What we say, what we think, what we do is our business. What other people do is their business. You yeah? don't have to look, you know, what, what other people are doing. Yeah? Oh, yeah. oh, they have a new car, now I need a new car. Oh, they have a new dress, now I need a new dress. Oh, they have a new handbag, yeah? now I need a new handbag. No. Be happy within yourself, yeah? <clears throat> Find the happiness, yeah? And the finding the happiness is, is done with meditation, yeah? The first thing is, you know, you calm the mind, yeah? You calm the mind, you know, be it with the word Buddha or be it Anapanasati, no matter, you know, what, no matter what the, uh, the teachers teach you, yeah? Huh? So you stick to the point, yeah? You stick to Anapanasati, you stick around the, uh, around the tip of the nose, knowing that the breath goes in, knowing that the breath goes out. Yeah. And every, mo every memory that comes in, every thought that comes in, you replace with the attention on the breath. That's it. Very easy to say. Very easy to teach. Huh? I have nothing to do. You, know, you have the hard work to do. Yeah? 
You have to look, yeah? You're absolutely constantly, yeah? You always bring back, yeah? You always have to bring back. When you do the Buddha, you always have to bring back. Whenever memory comes in, whenever a thought comes in, you bring it back to the Buddha, yeah? I mean, we all did it, you know, when we were little, yeah? We learned to walk, we got up, we fell over, huh? And we didn't say, Mommy, Mommy, I, did, I can't walk, I can't walk, you have to carry me for the rest of my life, huh? No, we tried it again, and we tried it again, and finally we could walk. And that is the same thing with meditation. Huh? There's no excuse, oh, I can't walk, yeah, my mind goes out, my mind goes out. Yeah, then bring it back. Huh? 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 It's just like this little ch- child, you know, wants to, wants to walk, you know, and then it stands up and it falls over. Yeah? Huh? It's the same thing we have to do. And then it gets up again, and it gets up again, and it gets up again. Yeah? Until it can walk, yeah? And that's the same thing with our meditation, yeah? We always bring back, yeah? And that's where we need the effort, yeah? We don't need to push down the Buddha, we don't need to push down, you know, the breath, you know, ah, force it, force it, force it, there you only get happy, yeah? <clears throat> that's not the way. The force is, you know, bringing the mind back because it doesn't want to go back. Oh, just let me have this kind of thought, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, yeah? Instead of asking, you know, who tells me that I'm tired? Huh? Who tells me that I'm tired? You believe the voice in your head? Huh? That tells you I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm this, I'm that? Huh? You never question this, yeah? Just like you never question your boss when he tells you something, yeah? <laughs> huh? It's not me, it's not mine, it doesn't belong to me, it's not myself, yeah? The Lord Buddha talked about anicca, anatta, dukkha, yeah? Anicca, you know, it is impermanent. Every thought that arises ceases, yeah? Our body, you know, is born and dies, yeah? Hmm? Every memory arises and ceases. It doesn't belong to you, yeah? You cannot, you cannot hold on to it, yeah? <clears throat> it's not you, yeah? <clears throat> that is the principle of anatta, yeah? Whatever we can experience, it's not me, it's not mine, it's not myself. Uh, ever heard of it? Yeah. Principle of anicca anatta dukkha. Yeah. And dukkha is the dissatisfaction. Yeah. <clears throat> These are the three doors to nibbana. Huh? <clears throat> anicca anatta dukkha. For most of us, it's dukkha, dukkha, dukkha. Huh? Dissatisfaction. Yeah. But some people use anicca. Yeah. See the impermanence of things. You know, and said, "What? What is the purpose of building another house? Yeah, when it falls up." Yeah? falls down, you know, or buying another car, you know, it goes broke, yeah? Or, you know, or buying another shirt, you know, if it goes, yeah? Uh, whatever, yeah? Huh? That's anicca, yeah? Huh? <clears throat> Anatta, you know, this is something for, for most of the people difficult to realize because they, they identify with their thoughts, yeah? And especially they identify with their body, yeah? Huh? Actually, they put the body, you know, they sell the body on the market, yeah? No? We clothe the way that we want, you know? I mean, why do we, why do we clothe, why do, why do we make up, why do we go to the hairdresser? Not for us, to attract other people. Be honest with yourself, huh? No matter what we do, you know, it doesn't matter if it is male or female, yeah? The female put more emphasis on, on the outside of the body, you know, the males, you know, I mean, maybe in strength or maybe, you know, in intelligence, you know, but, you know, in order to go to the market, you know, to get the highest market price, huh? No? I mean, it's honest, yeah, be honest, you know, why we do these things, huh? No? Anybody objects, you know, please let me re- know the reason why you object, yeah? <laughs> That's it, you know. Yeah? We sell, yeah. I mean, we even go to, you know, to the company and to sell our things, yeah. No, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, we are all prostitutes, yeah. <laughs> Prostitute ourselves, yeah? yeah. We sell to the highest bidder, yeah. <clears throat> no matter if it is our intelligence, no matter if it is our body, no matter if it is our art or whatever you call it, yeah. We sell it, you know, we try, we try to get the highest, yeah, the highest bidder for this, you know, what we have, yeah, or what we think we have, yeah. That's what we use our body for, yeah. 
<coughs> yeah, so think about it. Yeah. <coughs> Why? Yeah. There's no need, you know, and the less you want, you know, the less desire you have, the more happy you are. Yeah. Just like, you know, just like monks, you know, whatever food comes on the table, that's what they eat, yeah. They don't have the ideas. Now I have to go to McDonald's or what is it, shake, shake? <laughs> shake a shake? <laughs> oh, this or that. I mean, food, 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 yeah. I mean, you go, you know, you see, you know, wherever you go, you see, you know, food, food, food. Be it Starbucks, be it, yeah, be, be it this, be it that, you know, be it McDonald's, be it Wendy's, Arby's, or whatever, yeah. Huh? Huh? You go along, you know, people eat, 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 you know, sleep, 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 shit, 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 yeah. <laughs> and sleep, sleep, yeah. Oh, and that's what we do, yeah. We wake up in the morning, yeah. I mean, the... Every morning already starts with dukkha, don't it? Doesn't it? We don't want to get up. Dukkha. <laughs> yeah? Then we get hungry. Dukkha. Yeah? Huh? <clears throat> then we get thirsty. Dukkha. Yeah? Then, then we need to go to the toilet. Dukkha. Huh? No? <sighs> dukkha. Yeah? To let out all the shit. Yeah? Huh? And then we are tired. Dukkha. I mean every day. Huh? Not enough to call you yet, Ryan, huh? <laughs> huh? No? Don't see? It? Not yet? Huh? And what do we know? Yeah? <clears throat> when we tired, we go to sleep, then we think this is the solution to our dukkha. Yeah? No. <clears throat> it's just brushing away dukkha. Yeah? And when we're hungry, we eat, yeah? Huh? Brushing away dukkha. Yeah? <clears throat> hmm? When we are thirsty, we drink, brushing away dukkha. Yeah? That's only brushing away dukkha. Yeah? It's not, yeah? It's not getting rid of dukkha. Yeah? <clears throat> but not seeing it, yeah? Not seeing our life as it is, yeah? Not seeing the human life, yeah? Not seeing the value in the human life, yeah? That is the pity, yeah? For most of the people. That's why I wanted to ask the people here in Singapore, what are you doing? What is your life for? What, what, what is your aim, yeah, in your life? Running, 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 yeah? From A to B and B back, back to A, yeah? That, that, that is the purpose of your life, huh? Running, 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 but not going anywhere, huh? I mean, look at the people. I mean, next time, you know, I'll be a little bit observant, yeah? Be a little bit observant, you know, sit in the park and look what the people are doing, yeah? Well, what is the point of doing all these things, yeah? <clears throat> What is the aim of our life? Eh? What did the Lord Buddha said about the human life? Even though it is very short, yeah? Even though it is very short, even though we have to train for 17 or 18 years, you know, to, to be able to, to use, use it properly, yeah? And then only be able to use it for 30, 30 or 40 years, yeah? <coughs> With full strength, you know, and then slowly decaying, decaying, decaying. Yeah? Huh? The purpose of this life is to find a way out. He said, this is, this is the jumping point, yeah? Because we have enough dukkha and we have enough sukkha, yeah? Ask anybody, you know, anybody, you know, who, who is very happy, yeah? If he wants to sit, sit down and meditate. No. Why, why, why should I go and meditate? Yeah? I have no dukkha, yeah? I'm satisfied, yeah? I'm satisfied with the way my life lives, yeah? yeah? So why should I go and, and, and torture myself, you know, in the sitting position, you know, and focus my, yeah, focus my attention on the breath, or, you know, a butto, yeah? Hmm? So it's the same with the devas, you know, I mean, they're happy, you know? I mean, they're quite happy, you know? They still have dukkha, but very little dukkha, yeah? <clears throat> they don't see it, you know, just like you don't see the daily dukkha, yeah? They don't see the dukkha, you know? They still have to feed the bodies, yeah? They have fine material bodies, yeah? Hmm? And they still have to build their houses yet, or their, yeah, I mean villas, you yeah? know, it's not houses, yeah? it's not like these chicken cages that you live in. 
<laughs> where they breed human beings. You know? I mean, I, why, why isn't there a law against that? You know, we have laws against animals, you know, keep it into, into tight cages, you know. But, you know, with humans, you know, you can, can have these chicken cages that are rising up, you know. I mean, I don't know how many, <laughs> how, how many floors. What is the highest, you know, building, you know, maybe 120 floors, you know. And, and these apartments are so small, yeah. Some, I think last time somebody invited me into the hall, oh, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not humane, you know. <laughs> yeah. But you, yeah, you, you go along with it. You don't think about it, you know, because, you know, your parents did it, you know, you do it, you know, and your children will do it, and nobody thinks, yeah. Because we don't have our brain for actually thinking, yeah. We have our brain for entertainment, yeah. Thinking, uh, you know, imagining this, imagining then this, you know, with the help of our smartphones, you know, I mean, we are completely, you know, huh? who, who cares, you know, as long as he has, yeah, has his smartphones, you know, no matter, he doesn't even notice he sits in the bus, you know, or in the metro, or in the train, or, yeah, or in a car, or walks, you know, and then, you yeah, know, <coughs> runs against another person, yeah, how often does it happen, or you know, runs over the street and a car catches him, you know, and then he's dead. <clears throat> the problem is that he doesn't have a smartphone in the hell, yeah, <laughs> where he can distract himself, yeah. <clears throat> now, think about it, think about it, you know, the Lord Buddha, yeah. I mean, this, this human life is so valuable, we shouldn't throw it away, yeah. If we, if we have the opportunity, yeah, and there are so few people who have the opportunity to get into touch with the real teaching of the Lord Buddha. Yeah. If we have the opportunity, you can't, you can't help the rest of the world, yeah? The Lord Buddha didn't go to people who couldn't be, who couldn't understand his teaching, yeah? He was only interested in people who came to him, not to see him, yeah? And that's where he taught, yeah? That's why a Buddhist monk is not a preacher, you know, who teaches, you know, be good, be good, be good, yeah? And then, then this preacher goes, but in, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> Just like a lot of these Christian preachers, yeah? <clears throat> now, we are waiting for people, you know, I mean, a good preacher waits for people, you know, who are interested, yeah? I mean, there's even the story, you know, I mean, when he was giving, the Lord Buddha was giving a talk, you know, and there were two people, you know, there were two people coming, you know, who wanted to listen to his talk, but they were very hungry. And the Lord Buddha understood, you know, if they are so hungry, they, they cannot understand what I'm teaching about it. So he said, you know, so he said, give them some food, you know, after they had some food, you know, then, then he talked. He knew, you know, he knew when he can when he can speak and when people are listening to him. You know? Because it is useless, you know. If I go into into the you know what is it, Marina Place, you know, and and then start to preach, nobody would listen. Nobody would be interested. People would actually get angry at me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? So you have to you have to yeah? you have to teach, you know, to the people who who are interested in the Dhamma. Yeah. And these people, these people should make use of that opportunity that they listen to Dharma and think about their life. Yeah? They don't have to change it, you know, yeah? but think about their life and to make it valuable. Yeah? Make it valuable, at least, you know, huh? go in the right direction. Yeah? Go in the direction of that, where, where the door opens to the deathless. Yeah? At least we should make this effort, you know, go in the right direction. Eh? Not, you know, after, after these three days, you know, go back, you know, and, and forget everything. Yeah? That is what is happening to most of people. Yeah? They hear something, yeah, that is good, that is valuable, and then they go back to work after three days, they forget everything. Yeah? Yeah? No, we should make a point, you know. If we hear something that is interesting, if we hear something that is good, you know, take it to heart, imprint it in our heart, and let the heart guide us. Yeah? Let not the, you know, the, 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 the daily occupations guide us. Let our heart guide us in what is right to do and what is right to find. Yeah? <clears throat> because the first thing, the first thing that we need to do, you know, is, is to make the mind still. Yeah? To completely calm it down. Yeah? Huh? To see another reality. The reality of experience where nobody takes hold of the experience. Yeah? Whenever you have an experience, you automatically attach a word to it. Yeah? 
good feeling, bad feeling, anger, greed or lust or whatever. Yeah? No, this is not the world of experience. The world of experience is actually only experiencing it without putting a label on it. Yeah? So without the mind, yeah? without the mind engine constantly turning around, churning out, churning out words, churning out label, put it label, 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 good, bad, good, bad. Yeah? Yeah? There's no, no, it's not, it's not the point, yeah? Experience the things as they are, yeah? And that is the experience of samadhi. When the mind engine stops, when there is no more thoughts coming, when there is no memory coming, yeah? <clears throat> and that's what we really have to do, yeah? That is the first thing that we really have to do. Yeah? After, yeah? Of course, you know, after, you know, <clears throat> Accepting the five precepts and keeping the five precepts. So what is the first precept? I said I won't want to go in. What is the first precept? Not to harm any living being. Yeah? The second, yeah? and that includes animals. Yeah? Being an animal which just went to the sea world, you know, I mean, all these fishes, you know, how long will it take them to come up to the human realm again? Yeah? It is so easy to go into the Fish world, you know, just be a fisherman and cut off, cut up all, all these fishes, you know, for, uh, for 40 years of your life and the next life you can, can be assured that you are one of these fishes, yeah? But when is the time, you know, for this fish, you know, for, for these turtles or whatever they are to come back up as a human being, to have the opportunity to find a way out of this uh, circle of death and birth and death, yeah? When, yeah? Because they are also beings, so we shouldn't harm them. Yeah? I mean, if you see it, you know, we actually should help them as well. Yeah? <clears throat> if, they, if they are, you know, injured, you know, or if they need food, too, just like other beings, human beings. Yeah? We should be always there, you know, to help, yeah? <clears throat> to help other beings. Because, you know, we also want to be helped. If we are in dire straits, you know, we want somebody to come us, you know, to comfort us, you know, or to give us some food, or you know, or, or to, to, to lend us some money, you know, or to give us a, give us some money. Well, why shouldn't we do it, yeah? <clears throat> Whatever we do unto others, others will do unto us, yeah? Isn't that, isn't that, you know, I mean, at least in West, eh? don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you, for whatever is done unto you, you have done unto others. And nobody, you know, tells about us the second part of this. <laughs> they only tell us the first, yeah? yeah? But the second story is that what, you know, what the Lord Buddha teaches. Whatever happens to us, we have done unto others, yeah? <clears throat> We're so sure we should remember that, yeah? So, not harming any living being. So, the second, not taken what is not given. That means in the office, the, 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 the pencil or this or that, you know, or the piece of paper or the envelope, yeah? It has not been given to us for our own purpose, so we shouldn't take it home, yeah? No? Little things, these, these little things, yeah? Or, you know, you, you're invited by your friend, you know, or you're invited into a house, you know, and you see a nice apple or peach, you know, and then you just take it, yeah? Ask before you take it, yeah, and if he gives you, you know, that's fine, yeah. But just don't take it or go into the fridge, you know, and get something to drink. Or you see something, you know, that is on the table and you think, yeah, you think it is for you, but it might not be for you, yeah. So ask, yeah. So that's the second precept. It's not taken what is not given, yeah, where it is not clear that it is given to us. Yeah, if, a, if a friend invites us to a house and says, whatever you want, you know, please take it, yeah, please help yourself. That's okay, yeah? Then we can help ourselves, yeah? But otherwise we can't. The third precept, that's a, yeah, I mean, it's where, where most people go wrong, yeah? Sexual misconduct. What is sexual misconduct, yeah? A husband has a wife, yeah? And the wife has a husband, you know, and goes outside of the marriage, yeah? <clears throat> in, in Thai, it, it is called, you know, I mean, a husband has a, has a, has a main wife and a little wife, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the wife has a main husband and a little husband, yeah? yeah? That's sexual misconduct. But not only this, yeah? I mean, parents with children, sexual misconduct, yeah? 
teachers with students, sexual misconduct. Professors with students, sexual misconduct. Bosses, you know, with, with, uh, with, their, with their employees, sexual misconduct. And then, now look at the world. It's full of it. Yeah? <clears throat> that is sexual misconduct. Huh? <clears throat> I guess it went out. I'm talking too long, huh? <laughs> what, what is the fourth? The fourth precept. Not lying, no, no use of harsh speech, yeah? not deceiving anybody with one speech. Yeah? White lies are also lies. Yeah? Not comforting somebody where you know it is not the truth, yeah? It's all, yeah? I, no. <clears throat> That's the fourth precept. What is the fifth precept? No drugs, no alcohol, yeah? And no smartphones. <laughs> it's a drug. You're addicted to the smartphone. Don't you call it a drug? Huh? Whatever we are addicted to, you know, don't we call it a drug? <laughs> I mean, ten years ago I didn't talk about it because people were not really that addicted to it, yeah? But now I see everybody is addicted to it. No matter if it is young or old, you know, I mean, they are addicted to it. Twenty-four hours they have it in their bag, you know, they have it in their pouch, you know, they have it in your... Huh? You can't let go, you know, I mean, even when you go to sleep, you know, you have the smartphone you're next to you, yeah? Huh? Huh? You never turn it off. Huh? It's a drug, yeah? And it's a, it is, you know, I mean, it doesn't make us unmindful just like alcohol or other drugs, yeah? But it, it makes us so dependent, you know, and it gives us an illusion about another world, yeah? Because now, you know, with the smartphones, not with the telephones, you know, 20 years ago or 15 years ago, where you had just the numbers, yeah? Where you didn't even have text messages, you know? It was just, you know? I they don't remember. <laughs> Some people just don't remember that there were existence, yeah? I mean, you had, you, had a, you had a phone, you know? I mean, with just with numbers. There were no text messages in the beginning, yeah? So you could call something. That, that, that is not a drug, yeah? But the moment, you know, the, the moment it became the smartphone, you know, you have your world in your hands, yeah? You don't need anybody else, yeah? You're alone, you are within the illusion, yeah? Within the illusion of being in a human being, you know, you are in the illusion of your smartphone, yeah? That's why I call it very dangerous, yeah? Be very careful with the smartphone, use it as a phone, you know, if it is necessary. Now, in the work, if it is necessary, but then, yeah, when you come, come back from work, you know, I mean, turn it off. Huh? We can't. We need to know who's writing us online or Facebook, what is written there. Huh? What, what, what are you using? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or, you know, whatever. Huh? Or TikTok, TikTok. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> I mean, wasting your time. It's nothing, you know, playing games, yeah? Playing games, you see, you know, playing games, sitting in the bus, playing games. Instead of using putu, 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 putu to calm the mind, yeah? Playing games, yeah? Or looking Facebook, Facebook, or Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, ah, oh, that's something. Huh? It's a drug in this sense. You understand it? Yeah? It addicts us, you know, I mean, not being able to realize what we are doing, why we are doing, and what is the results of our doing is. Huh? That's why I, why I put it in this category, yeah? <clears throat> being a drug, yeah? Use it, you know, I mean, as, as it, is, it is as useful or it is necessary, but then else, you know, shut it down, yeah? There's no need, yeah? Uh, but, yeah, we are... Maybe we sit in meditation and then it becomes boring. Oh, somebody, somebody, you know, I need to look up, no, I need to look up, yeah? Huh? Or, you know, your body, you know, need to look up, need to look up. Huh? Boredom is dukkha. Yeah? Why, why do we do this, you know? Why, why do we call, you know, why do we talk? Boredom, yeah? Most of the time it is boredom, yeah? We don't, there's no necessity to talk somebody else, yeah? 
We talk because we are bored or we are afraid or whatever, yeah? <clears throat> we read, you know, or we watch TV or we, you know, we, we look at our smartphone, yeah, now it is everything in our hand, yeah? We look at it because of boredom, yeah? We don't know what to do with our life, huh? There are better things to do with our life, you know, finding the way out of this, yeah? Cycle of birth and death, that is the best thing that we could do, yeah? Huh? Not just looking up, yeah? <clears throat> because next time, next life you will do the same thing, yeah? Huh? And you don't remember what you did in your previous lives, yeah? You think you're just new, yeah, to this, yeah, to this world, yeah? And you don't know why all these bad or good things happen to you, yeah? Huh? How many people don't understand why, why the things that are happening to them do happen, yeah? Because of our karma, yeah? <clears throat> Because we don't remember our previous lives, yeah? but when, when, when we would, you know, when we, when we get our mind really calm, when we get our mind really still, yeah, and then ask our heart the, the, the right questions, yeah? then our heart, you know, will show us the situation where, where we have done that unto other people, but the other people will do, have done unto us, yeah? Oh, it becomes clear, yeah? And it becomes also clear the motive or the intention of our doing, yeah? But of course that, we, we have to first to go to the heart, yeah? We have to first to, to calm the heart, yeah? <clears throat> Once the heart is completely calm, I mean, then we can ask questions, yeah? And sometimes the heart responds, yeah? But it does not respond in form of thoughts. It responds in form of knowing. And knowing and thoughts, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Thoughts is like, you know, you have your engine running, yeah? Uh, in, the, in your car and, and your radio on, huh? Huh? That is thoughts, you know, very loud, very noisy, yeah? Hmm? Huh? When you turn off the engine, when you turn off, you know, the, your radio and you open your window, that is knowing. You experience the sound of the nature, yeah? And that is the knowing of the heart, yeah? So, I mean, we have to learn huh? to receive that knowing of the heart, yeah? And if you, if you put it to the right questions, you know, it, it will answer us. Huh? What shall I do with my life? Huh? Go and become a Michi or become a monk? Oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> <clears throat> Go do the right thing, yeah? No, I still want to enjoy life, yeah? No, that, that is the response of the, of the engine that is running, you know, turning constantly, huh? of our greed, yeah? of our delusion, yeah? that tells us, oh, no, it's not right, yeah? The knowingness, you know, the knowingness of the heart, yeah? That's what we, what we can go down to, yeah? <clears throat> so if you want to, yeah, if you want to go out, yeah? If you decide, you know, sooner or later, we decide, you know, we want, we want to go out to, yeah? Out of the cycle of birth and death, yeah? Or what is it called? Samsara, yeah? But samsara, yeah? I call it the hamster wheel. It is so, it, it, it makes things clear, yeah? You run and run, but you don't actually go anywhere, huh? And the opening the door of the hamster wheel is the opening of the door to the deathless, yeah? Hmm? No matter how many different realms are in this hamster wheel, yeah? You will run and run and run and never get out of this hamster wheel. That is what is called samsara. I like to, to make it more picturesque so people understand it more clearly where they are and what is happening to them. Yeah. <clears throat> and Hamsterville is a very nice thing. If you don't know what it is, you know, go to the next, you know, zoo, yeah, and then look, you know, at the hamsters, yeah? yeah? Some people have it even at their house, yeah? <clears throat> Maybe not so much the Asians, but you know, the Europeans, yeah? <clears throat> That's what we are in, running, running, you know? I mean, no matter what realm you come, you, you will go back down, yeah? I mean, if you're in heaven, you go to hell. If, you, if you're down in hell, you will come back up sooner or later, yeah? Even if you go to the animal realm, you will sooner or later will come up again, yeah? <clears throat> and then you're back to the same thing, you know? And then you do enough karma, you know, to go back up, you know, or go back down, you know, whatever. And then you come back, you know, and running, yeah? But actually you're not going anywhere. You're not co coming closer to the aim of going out of the door, yeah? 
uh, opening the opening the door of the hamster wheel in, yeah, and experience, you know, experience the first step, yeah. What is it called? Sodapana, stream entry, yeah. The, that's the road to the deathless, yeah. That that tells us very clearly, you know, at most more seven more lives, yeah, in the human realm or in the deva realm, and then everything is finished, yeah. Unless, unless we open the door, you know, I mean, there's, I mean, another million lives, yeah? One? Nice? Yeah? Think about it, yeah? If we don't find the door out, you know, we don't know when we come out, yeah? Because we don't know what is happening in the next life, yeah? And we don't know even if we come, you know, come back from this realm or that realm, you know, whatever realm it is, if you remember, huh? what we have done in, in, in the previous lives, where we set our foot, you know, we want to go out, yeah? Hmm? How often has it happened to us, yeah? <clears throat> that, we, that we said, I need to do this, you know? And then 30 or 40 years later, you know, completely forgot about it. Oh, what, wasn't there something? Yeah, ah, yes, very faint, very faint, you know? And the next moment we forget it again, yeah? That's... If we don't really make a choice, if we don't make use this life, value this life as it is, no matter how young we are, no matter how old we are, we can use from this moment on. We can use it, you know, and to make the most value of it. Yeah? And that is going in the right direction. Yeah? No matter how difficult it is. Yeah? Think about it, learning to walk. Yeah? That's meditation. Uh, that's samatha meditation, learning to walk. Eh? Uh, the mind goes out, we bring it back. It goes out, we bring it back. Until it stays there. Yeah? Until there's no more thought, and there's no more memory coming up. I mean, there you have all your happiness that you were looking for in other things outside of you. Huh? We are looking for happiness, you know, if this happens to us, we are happy, yeah? How long are you happy? Five minutes and you want something else, yeah? Then if this happens, you know, yeah? But the happiness arises in our heart. Have you ever seen that? But also the dukkha arises in our heart, yeah? No? Doesn't right? The anger about somebody else arises in our heart. Has nothing to do with the other person. It's here that burns. Huh? Huh? Ugh. And we want to get rid of it. That's why we throw it at somebody else, our anger. Yeah? Huh? If he's good, you know, he can ditch. And the anger doesn't hit him. Yeah? And then it comes back to us. Yeah? Huh? Now we throw out the anger with our, huh? with our line, you know? Yeah? We need to respond. We need to respond. Huh? This, I don't like this, you know, his response. You know? So we need to respond back. Yeah? That's how we bring out our anger, you know. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> our dislikes, you know, to others. And they, you know, do the same thing, you know, and it, you know, boils up and boils up. And, yeah? and who does it burn? Us. So why do we put it out in the first place? No reason. Yeah? Just because we don't know. Yeah? Because we don't know what to do in this kind of situation. Yeah? Instead of, you know, when anger boils up, you know, what do we do? Putu, 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 putu. Huh? And if there are no thoughts, there is no anger. Huh? Very simple. Huh? If there is no thoughts, you know, there is no desire. Very simple. And we can all experience that. Huh? When we go into samadhi, there is no desire. That's why we feel so happy. Huh? But if you don't have this experience, you know, it is very difficult, yeah? We need this experience. We need especially, you know, to, to, <clears throat> to train the sati, this awareness, yeah? Sati is not mindfulness, huh? Sati, mindfulness, the mind is full of one thing. Sati is mind emptiness. The mind is empty and knows everything. You see the difference? Huh? Mind emptiness. The mind is not occupied. Yeah? Mindfulness, the mind is occupied with one thing. Yeah? I mean, if, if it is good mindfulness, it is occupied with one thing. Yeah? But sati is mind emptiness. 
It took me a long time, you know, to understand that, yeah, until my, my venerable teaching master, you know, one time said, you know, I was walk, walking by the sala and he was teaching, uh, uh, do you know, you know, when, when you are in samadhi, when you, then, uh, when you have sati, there are no kilesas. So the mind is empty of any occupation. And then I understood. Before, I was always using mindfulness. Okay, I'm very mindful, I'm very mindful, yeah? <laughs> but I didn't have sati. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> and sati is the, sati panya are the only weapons that lead us, yeah? Lead us to deliverance, to the deathless, yeah? <clears throat> sati panya, yeah? Mindfulness is good, you know? I, I, don't, I, I don't want to discredit mindfulness. Mindfulness is really good, yeah? But it is not sati, yeah? And we need to train sati. We need to train this knowingness, yeah? What is going on, yeah? What is going on in our heart at every moment, you know? Not being occupied with anything, yeah? <clears throat> in order to train it, you know, we need to, to stay focused on the breath or we need to stay focused on the Buddha. But then we know, yeah? We need to develop this knowingness, yeah? How is the Buddha? Is the Buddha at the beginning? Is it in the middle? It... Great, 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 yeah? <laughs> Coming to talks, you know, and having their phones on, yeah? <laughs> Disrespectful. Yeah? Needing to know, is the Buddha at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? Is it the next Buddha coming, you know? Is the Buddha fast? Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it shallow? The same with the breath, yeah? Is, is it the in-breath? Is it at the beginning? Is it the middle? Is it at the end? Does it turn into the out-breath? Does the out-breath turn into the in-breath, you know? We need to know this. This is sati, it's a knowingness. It's a knowingness, it's a pure knowingness. Huh? <clears throat> this is something we need to develop. Yeah? Mindfulness is good, you know, it has its place. Yeah? When washing dishes, you know, being mindful of washing dishes, not, not being, you know, the mind outside, you know, what do I do next? Yeah? Huh? It's good, yeah? but it's not sati. Yeah? Sati knows, yeah? So, I mean, if you wash dishes, butto, 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 yeah. Huh? Huh? Or, you know, I mean, and any kind of work can be turned into something that is joyful, yeah? Huh? Washing, wa wa washing, you know, I know you have all the washing machines, you don't wash with hand anymore. <laughs> or even dishwashers, you know, I mean, all, all these things make us so lazy, you know? All these things make us so lazy, yeah? Huh? <clears throat> We don't even know how to do manual things anymore. Right? Washing our clothes, you know. <clears throat> At least we still, you know, we don't, we don't have a washing machine for our body, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the next thing that comes, yeah? <laughs> we click on the phone, you know, and then go into the booth, and then, then all this soap, you know. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, how can you live in this world? Yeah. I feel so sorry <laughs> when I when I look. Yeah, I feel so sorry for you. So, <clears throat> I think we leave it at at this today. You know, I mean, it's it's already been. How long has it been? Forty minutes. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. It takes a lot of energy, you know, to go through all this thickness of your kilesas, yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah? What? Receive requisites. Oh, not not today. They can they can do it tomorrow. You know, I mean, there are three days. You know, I I I would say on the last day it's better. Not every day, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, if somebody wants to give something, yes. On the last day. Yeah. Now you can have you can have questions. What? What? If they're not coming after us, how about you receive it? <laughs> 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 I
I mean, if somebody wants to come and give me his heart, you know, I receive it instantly. If it's just material things, I'm not so interested, yeah? <laughs> but anyway, you know, I mean, I don't want to take the opportunity, yeah? So if somebody is, is not coming back, yeah? If he has enough, yeah, of this one talk. <laughs> is he scared to death, you know? I mean, doesn't want to come back, yeah? <clears throat> I mean, I talk, I talk from the bottom of my heart, you know, I mean, it, it seems to be rough, yeah? Huh? And it seems to be very uncomfortable, you know, and it, it, it some, some, sometimes might anger some of the people, you know, I mean, yeah? Forgive me, but you know, I mean, it is the truth, yeah? And the truth can be very hurtful, yeah? I remember this, yeah? Hmm? But the truth is setting us free, yeah? It's not the lies that we tell others, oh, you're perfect, you're perfect, you're perfect, you know? But inside you're completely rotten, yeah? But we only want to, oh, you're so nice, you're so nice, you know? Please bring me some presents and you all go to heaven. That is not the truth. Huh? It's a lie. Huh? And I told you, you know, what, what, you know, what you need to go to heaven, yeah? Huh? But you'd be a way, you know, when heaven is finished that you go to hell, yeah? That's the truth, yeah? And the Lord Buddha always talked the truth, yeah? And you know, and also my teaching master always taught the truth. Even though it hurts, you know, sometimes, you know, he said something, you know, and then he asked, does it hurt? You see the dukkha? Okay. If you don't see it, you know, he steps again on your toe, you know, do you see it now? Yeah? Until you understand, yeah? That's a way, you know, I mean, uh, comforting, comforting this, comforting that, you know, I mean, this is not the, that is not the true way of the sasana, yeah, of the religion, yeah. Confronting you with the truth, yeah, uh, but also having metta, yeah, also having compassion, yeah, but well, what do you think compassion is, yeah, compassion is only the thing that you like me to do to you, yes, that's compassion, no. That stupidity. Huh? Huh? If, yeah, let, let me explain you, yeah. I mean, you are a father, you have a child, the child plays with the ball, yeah. The, the child doesn't see the car coming, but the father sees the car coming, yeah. So he pulls the child back, and the child is completely aggravated. It, it's getting angry because he cannot run after his ball. So, what do you think is compassion? To let it run into the car and die? Huh? To let the child do whatever it wants to do, this is not compassion. Compassion is seeing the danger and lurking and, and, and holding the child back so that it doesn't die. Isn't that compassion? Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if, if, somebody, if somebody wants to offer something, you know, please... Please go ahead, you know, if you can't let go of it, you know, go ahead and do it. Huh? Questions? I don't know. I said everything already, you know, but how can there be any questions? Are there any questions, huh? A few, few lives, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't count on that, yeah? <laughs> because you forget, you know that you forget things, yeah? So you forget, you know, in this life you, 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 you hurry, you know, towards, you know, and one day you forget it, the next day. It's just like taking precepts, you know, today we take the five precepts, tomorrow, ah, you know, it's not so important, you know, we break it, then we take it, then we break it, then we take it, then... <laughs> it's the same thing. As a lay person, you can find the, you can find, you can open the door, yeah? That's it, what you can do, yeah? But you have to live a very, you, you have to live a very rigid life, yeah? Yeah? You have to practice a lot and you have to 
you, you have to keep the five precepts. Yeah? At every moment. Yeah? That's why it is so difficult in the world of the senses, you know, I just look, you know, just go through Singapore, I mean, you're lost. The moment you walk, you know, you walk through a shopping mall, you're lost, yeah? The moment you walk through, you know, you go to your office, you know, you're lost, you know, because your senses pick up so many things, yeah? I mean, that's why the, the Lord Buddha advised us, you know, to cut down on the senses, yeah? To go to the forest, yeah? I mean, even, even for us, you know, living in a monastery, you know, I mean, people coming, you know, constantly coming, you know? I mean, it doesn't cut down on all the senses, it cut down on a lot of senses, yeah? So he advised us to go to lonely places, to fearful places, yeah? Huh? Where we are, where we encounter fear, yeah? The fear of death, yeah? That's why some of the Thai Achans, you know, sent, you know, were meditating because they were not afraid enough. We were meditating in the, you know, on the path of a tiger, yeah? Because they were afraid of a tiger, you know, eating them up, yeah? So that's why they sat on there. Or sat at the edge of a cliff, you know, because they were constantly drowsing off, yeah? Hmm? To counteract their fear, yeah? <clears throat> It is possible, but you know, I mean, it takes a lot of effort, you know. And if you are, if you're not, you know, if you're not in an environment where all these people, you know, constantly remind you of putting in effort, you know, then it is pretty much, yeah. And especially with these smartphones, you know, it's hopeless. Yeah? <laughs> huh? You can't find, you know, I mean, you can Google the suttas, you know, on your smartphone, but that doesn't help you, yeah. So, I mean, I would, you know, I would, you know, go, yeah. I mean, you can stay for one, two, three years, you know, in a monastery, you know, and, and, and you know, find, find the way out, you know, or, yeah. That, that is the best thing, you know, you really have to cut down on the senses, yeah. I mean, in a big city, you know, in a small village, it is easier, yeah. In a small village, you know, where farmers are, you know, they don't have smartphones, you know. I mean, they just, you know, yeah, do the rice, you know, so it is it, it's much easier, you know. So, and that's a lot of people, you know, in Thailand, you know. They're farmers, you know, I mean, who got enlightened, yeah. They were not highly educated, yeah, like we are, yeah. Huh? We, we, we trained our brain, we, uh, we, we trained our brain, you know. Huh? That's why, why Lungda, Maha, Lungda Mahabua said, you know, I mean, you know, doctors and things like that came to him, yeah? I mean, the higher you educated, the, the more stupid you are in the way of Dhamma, yeah? And it's true, because smart people think they are smart, yeah? They don't listen, yeah? But, uh, but the farmers, you know, that Lumpuman taught, you know, said, Buddha, Buddha, yeah? And they did buddha, 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 you know, they didn't even think about why, why, why they should, should do it or should not do it, yeah? Huh? And they went into samadhi and they saw the light, you know, and ah, all sorts of things, yeah? But we think about what, why should I do this, you know, I mean, it's boring, you know, I mean, what, what, what does it bring me, you know? Yeah? That's the smart people that are, that are stupid in the ways of Dhamma, yeah? <laughs> Understood? <laughs> I said it is possible, yeah, but it is very difficult. And when I look at the world right now, I mean, it is nearly impossible, yeah, because you, I mean, you are full with your senses, yeah, yeah. But the best thing is really, you know, I mean, yeah, why, why, why not, you know, why not going for three months or for a year, you know, huh? <clears throat> somewhere where you see the difference. Yeah? Because you don't know, yeah? I mean, me, you, you constantly have thoughts, you constantly have memories coming up, yeah? And they tell you this, they tell you this, you know, today they tell you this, yeah, it's good, you know, tomorrow they tell you this is not good, yeah? I mean, who do you believe when you are alone? Huh? Who do you ask when you have a question? Don't you think you need a teacher huh? that tells you this is the right way, this is the wrong way? Huh? Okay. Anybody else? Ow. <laughs> I'm old. <clears throat> How do we cut our mind from doing the wrong thing and farmers before we have a mind? 
I mean, you keep the five precepts. You can remember the five precepts? I mean, there's the gross of more the gross more. There's sila, samadhi, panya. Yeah? I mean, you cannot only develop sila. Yeah? You cannot only develop panya without the help of sila. Yeah? And you cannot only develop samadhi without the help of sila and, and panya. Yeah? There are three, you know, there are three columns, you know, that support us, yeah? And they have to be raised at the same, yeah, at the same level. So that the house that we want to build on, you know, that the house of Nibbana that we want to build on to is stable, yeah? Most of the people, you know, lack samadhi. So, I mean, this column has to be raised first, yeah? Huh? And then once, once this becomes a little bit more stable, we see when we have the samadhi or when we have the sati, we see that what we do wrong in the sila, so we can correct the sila, yeah? Or we can use, you know, we can start to use wisdom, you know, to, to investigate, is this, is this really in, in line with the sila? Is it in line with the precepts, yeah? You understand that, yeah? So for most important, yeah, and especially, you know, people who constantly use their smartphone, they have no sati. There's no samadhi. Huh? I mean, when, look at them, you know, they constantly flick through the pages, yeah? I mean, I can't even, I can't even follow, you know, what, what they're clicking through, you know? I mean, they're so, so fast grasping what is there. You click here, click here, click here. Oh, I mean, it's amazing, yeah? I mean, how can this people, you know, just be, you know, for, for two or three seconds on the same word, puto, 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 yeah? I mean, that puto starts, you know, and they are gone, yeah? So, I mean, you need, yeah? You understand? Okay. Yeah, so, if there are no more questions, you know, so the people, yeah, who, who want to offer something, yeah? Let them offer something. <sighs> okay. Mm. How was it? A little bit rough, huh? <laughs> uh, money, please, not on. To, yeah, money. If if there's money, you know, I see. I think you know. You just give it to. Yeah. This one, uh, I pick it up from the market. From the floor. So made a marriage. Pick it up from the market. What? What, what is? I, I, I went to the market. Somebody yeah? lost it. There's no one to claim, so I give this and oh, dedicate the okay, person. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the medicine. This is for the building of the medicine. Now, if, uh, a male can give it in my hands, yeah? If it is not money, yeah? I came here to receive hearts, not requisites. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Chinese, Chinese. Uh, what is this? Asoka pillar. Yeah, Asoka pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for So you can all go go now, you know, and sleep sleep, go on sleeping until you know you die, yeah. <laughs> some people, you know, who wake up, you know, hopefully do something useful with their life. Yes? What? This, he was asking if Ajahn will be giving another talk, but uh, Yeah, probably, yeah. In the evening. 
Morning has instructions. In the evening, you know, probably a talk, yeah. But I said everything already. Yeah. <laughs>